So we're using this song to mobilize the chi, and you begin to feel the forces move up and down or along the limbs, up and down through the legs and out to the arms, through the torso. It's like water through a hose or through a conduit. It, the, the forces move along the limbs. And even within the limb, they have yin-yang aspects. Now, in the beginning, it feels more like it's very connected to your body weight, right? It's quite intimately connected with gravity, but that's something tangible for you. As you progress, it's less about body weight, more just about the chi mobilizing through the body, relevant of body weight. So while you're doing the basic exercise and you sink into the leg, you feel it go hip, knee, foot through the leg. And it's coordinated with body weight. So you're kind of moving your mass, you're moving your gravity via song. And so the blood's moving and things start to move. It's opening up, pumping stuff through the body. But as the subtle becomes more, it's not that you become more subtle, it's that that which is little becomes bigger that which is weak becomes strong, it becomes obvious, right, from doing all the transformational work, so all the silk in your body changes, then the chi moving through the body creates jin in a much more obvious way, yep. So it goes from just you feeling it into the joints to feeling it through the whole tubes of your body and everywhere. So an example would be if you come here, Gabe, and like grab my thigh. So if he holds my leg, now I can't put the weight in it because I'm just sitting here, yeah? So it's not that I can move my mass through it, but I can mobilize the chi <coughs> in a certain way that it goes through the leg. It just pumps through the leg. It's like turning on the hose, the chi goes through, and where the chi goes, it creates jin because of all the training that has transformed the nature of the tissues. Because we've been working with the silk so much, it transforms the silk in your body so that when chi move, moves, something actually happens. If you don't transform the body, even if you could get the chi to move, nothing would really happen because the silk would not be awake, connected, the jin lu would not be built. So this coordinates the whole body and makes a whole body power, which doesn't mean you move your mass as one. It means the whole organism is connected and alive and electrified with chi and jin. So another example would be, say, the, the single whip hand. If you uh, just have a strong stance and maybe hold your hands like that or something. So a bit higher, so it's worse for me. So I'm just going to just do that. Okay, like when we go like this and you make the beak. Now obviously I can't get my weight behind that or the mechanics behind that. But if my body's truly coordinated and connected and all the silk is mapped, right, so that the jin lu are built in the body, any motion mobilizes the chi through the whole body. So any motion you do, even in the fingers, mobilizes the chi and jin in the whole body. So called one part moves, all parts move. So when my fingers go, the whole jin of the body is behind it. Now there's no way I can push him down with my muscles from this position because he has every advantage. But if I'm coordinated correctly, I can bring the jinn to that point. And the same goes for any part of the body. These are just examples. So when you're training in this way, you're doing a simple exercise, but delving deep inside, very deeply. So you can recognize what jung ding I'm working towards, what balance I'm working towards, always keeping the ratio and proportion in mind, and that you're working towards it via song.